Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and hit that bell notification for our next video. So today I am making chili hot dogs, chili cheese hot dogs, as well as some RB fries. Guys, me and my family, we are a big fan of Arby's curly fries. They taste really good from home. And, of course, we love the Great Value brand because it's on a budget. Why not? So, we got the cheese. We got the hot dogs. We got the uncured beef franks. As well as this chili bean. It has the um, sauce in it as well, guys. It is bomb. So, if you're looking for a quick meal for your family, this is a great option. So, let's get into the video, guys. All right, so now I'm gonna put my beans inside of the pot. Guys, we like these beans just like they are. Um, you don't need any salt in it, any pepper, anything like that. We just add a little butter and we just let them simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna add my butter and when it starts getting hot, I'm gonna mix it up. And of course, I love my little spoon, guys. You guys have to get it, it's cute, I love it. All right, so now the cooktop is finally hot so I can put the hot dogs inside of the pan. And this side finally got hot as well, so I'm about to stir that as well. Guys, I will tell you cooking on this uh, double burner electric stove, you really have to watch the um, the temperature right here the nozzle because you can have it on here one minute and it just gets really hot the next minute it cools down like it's it's crazy i don't know but just be careful but you can do it but you put this on like low i usually put this on low and i usually have the hot dogs on like a medium okay let's go check the oil okay let's see if it is hot let's test it yes it is hot so let's throw a couple in this time they are frozen so that's cool the refrigerator or frozen we like them it doesn't really matter All right, so we're gonna let that sit and we're gonna check on the hot dogs. All right, guys, it is smelling amazing in here. We like our hot dogs nice and burnt. I never used this pan before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope what I'm doing right now does not mess up the pan because this is a beautiful pot. All right, this is what the beans look like. We're gonna stir that butter in there and it looks very good. Do not sleep on great value beans. I think they were 50 cent or 63 cent. Check them out for real. These are almost done. They are almost to our liking. We like it nice and crispy. I don't know why the beef don't swell up. Usually um, hot dogs swell up. These, this brand right here don't swell up for some reason. Okay, let's stir or turn our fries. Push them around a little bit, a little bit. They are not done yet, though. All right, guys. So you can also do this. This is the fun part. I like that. So it's almost done. We're gonna turn the oven on because I'm gonna toast the. Uh... Hold on, this way. We're gonna turn the oven on because I'm gonna toast the bread. We're gonna put it on 250. Cause I told y'all, this stuff is you know act funky sometimes. So we're gonna put it on 250. The hot dogs are done. And guys, remember to turn your eye off because this still this stuff is still hot once you turn it off. This looks good. Look like I had a grill, guys. Like I'm happy with this. Very, very nice. Absolutely love this. Alright, so we're gonna move this and put this on top of this so it can stay nice and warm. And this is getting warmed up. We're gonna go check on the fries, guys. All right, the fries are floating. So that means it is time to take them out. 
I'm gonna put them right here. Throw some more fries in here and I'm about to start the bread. That shouldn't take no more than five minutes because I told you that toaster oven is no joke. Because I already have it like preheating and stuff. But this is what the fries look like. Alright, so we're going to check on the chili beans. It finally came to where I want it to be. It's at like a nice slow simmer. And it looks amazing. Perfect for hot dogs. For sure. Alright guys, so I'm going to put the chili on top of the hot dogs. As well as some cheese. And I think Jayshawn wants a chili and cheese on his fries. So I'm going to do that as well. But guys, this smells and looks amazing. I hope you guys try this recipe at home. Your children love it, your husband will love it, and you will absolutely love it as well. Alright, so let me grab some fries. Alright, let's hope everything fits on here. That's what I'm hoping. I think, I think he needs another plate for this. Um, let me get a bowl. Alright, so I'm going to put the fries inside of a bowl. Deshaun really going to love this. It's going to be nice. Okay, so let's switch these plates. Here, Deshaun. Wait one second, Christian. You're next. All right. So, guys, look at that. Do y'all see that? That looks good. That's enough? Yes, Okay. Yeah, All right. I'm going to put some cheese. You want cheese on here? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. And definitely hit that bell notification. Thank you for watching.